Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about American Horror Story 1984 and where they're going to go with the rest of this season. And in order to really dive into that, I want to show you this clip from the promo of episode 5. I released him. You did this to me? Look at my face! It's your fault I'll never be on the cover of TV Guide! <laughs> so if you saw my review for episode 4 of this season, you know that... I believe, I saw in the comments and I've just seen in general throughout the fandom that this is one of the most brutal things that we've ever seen on American Horror Story. The idea that they were going to burn someone alive in an oven. I mean, we've never seen anything like that. I mean, obviously we've seen some pretty brutal deaths, but that is slow, agonizing, and painful, and I'm really glad they didn't go through with it, but it makes me wonder... Why not? I mean, I guess there's a reason they want to keep Cody Fern alive. He's one of the biggest fan favorites out of last season, and people really were excited to see him come back this season, so it makes sense to keep him alive. Or are they going to use him for some more nefarious purpose later down this season? So in my episode 5 promo breakdown video, I talked about them putting him in the oven and the very fact that they might have done that just to kind of throw an illusion into Freddy Krueger into the mix, into this whole slasher-themed season that they've been trying to do this whole time. Just the fact that this guy got burned, he might have some aggression, whether he survives the night or not, we're not entirely sure, but really that might have been the sole reason to do it. But I wanted to take this video to go a little bit further into that and think about what they can do with Cody Fern's character in the future of this season and how he can be a bigger part of the story going forward. And if you're anything like me, one of the best things about American Horror Story Apocalypse last season was Cody Fern's character as the Antichrist and them just really building up his character and making him one of the most evil people that we've ever seen throughout this entire anthology series. And I have to admit, even though it makes sense on paper and it makes sense for just the general health of the actor, having Cody Fern and step away from that character arc and embody a character like Xavier in American Horror Story 1984 was probably the right thing to do. It's been widely reported after American Horror Story cult that Evan Peters felt so kind of emotionally scarred from that that he insisted that he play a more lighthearted character in American Horror Story Apocalypse and he was so exhausted from everything going on that he just couldn't return for this season. Hopefully Evan Peters is back for season 10 of American Horror Story especially if it is going to be the last season but I don't really think so and if you want my thoughts on that, go down to the description section below and check out that video. But really, even just taking all of that into account, it is kind of sad to see Cody Fern play kind of a wussy character in Xavier this season after playing one of the biggest roles in the entire narrative of American Horror Story thus far. So it really does make me wonder whether this entire setup over the first five episodes is just the first part of this story and they're going to pay a little bit more homage to certain slasher films that were very popular in the 1980s, maybe even the 1990s, and forward in the future part of this season. One of the biggest things they could do there is simply having Xavier die during the course of the events of the first five episodes and then come back as a spirit to haunt everybody's dreams. Maybe not in the exact same way that Freddy Krueger does, but as I keep talking about on this channel, I really do believe that we're getting to a point where we're going to have some kind of major time skip where the survivors of the night are going to be forced to go back to Camp Redwood and there has to be a specific reason. What if Xavier does not survive the night, but he comes back in Brooke's dreams or anybody else who survives the night to lead them back there in a major way to set up the last part of the story. This would help kind of explain the entire narrative of putting him in the oven to begin with because when he comes back into people's dreams, everyone is going to know what they're referencing and it's not going to be something they have to hide or even really manipulate in any real fashion. But having him not be a slasher villain and bringing them back to the camp for his own purposes or to make sure that everything that is going on in Camp Redwood still after the events of this night can be put to rest. Himself and everybody else who's still kind of walking around out there, specifically Jonas, and how all of this is going to connect to the broader universe of American Horror Story. I'm not entirely sure this is what's going to happen, but as I keep saying, the idea of a certain time skip, the idea that Gus Kenworthy is going to play Emma Roberts' boyfriend sometime in the future of this season because that's what they told us before any of this really got out or we even knew what this whole series was going to be about. The idea of them taking the first five episodes of this season as one coherent story that builds further into potentially a big twist in episode five or episode six into the broader story that they're trying to tell and potentially more connections to the broader universe of American Horror Story. I really do believe that we're going to get some kind of time skip and there's going to be a legitimate connection between Camp Redwood and everything that we've seen in the first eight seasons of this show. And 
yes, I'm taking a huge leap of faith here, but the idea that we got to see Cody Fern's character get burned in kind of the same way that we know Freddy Krueger got burned in the 1980s slasher film franchise either seems like an allusion just to that in itself, or maybe it's going to be a bigger portion of this season and it's going to really play off into the last part of the story. We're going to have to wait and see, but I would at least like for them to try to do something a little bit more akin to Nightmare on Elm Street than just simply copying Friday the 13th for the entirety of the season. So guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section below. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. It's been real.